Both of these are going to be express alert strong. However, the difference is this one has a SPI based EOLRS receiver, which means this, the receiver is baked into the flight controller. So basically it's one piece. Okay. And this one has a serial based EOLRS receiver, which means a separate piece of chip was soldered onto the flight controller. So this one is separate. This one is together. So the purpose of this video is I'm just going to go through quickly of how to set up a binding phrase for both of them. Okay. Let's go through one by one. Let's start with the serial. Let's start with the SPI based one easier. Okay. So we're going to come to our computer. Basically you're going to do is you're just going to plug in your quad into uh, with the USB cable. Okay. So with the quad plugged in, the next thing we're going to do is you're going to go to beta flight. If you don't know how to get beta flight, the link is also going to be down below. You can just go download it. Okay. Once you're connected or once you're, once you can connect it, just hit connect. And we're just going to go right directly to the bottom to the receiver tab. Okay. So I just want to make sure that you know that this is only going to work for if you have a SPI express LS drone. Okay. So if it's not going to be fry sky or whatever, but this is tend to be express LS only. Okay. So make sure that your receiver here has SPI RX express LS. And this is where you can set up your binding phrase. Also to do this, I think you do have to be in beta of like 4.4 or 4.3 or above. I think that's the thing that you have to have. Just make sure to check that. Otherwise you're not going to see this box. Okay. So basically this is where you input it. So my binding phrase to my radio is also 654321. So you can put it here and once you're done, just hit save and reboot. Okay. So that's basically completed for our SPI based binding phrase setup. All right. Let's switch to the serial based one. Okay. So for the serial based receiver, the drill is about the same. You're going to bring it to the computer, but this time I'm going to plug in a LiPo into it. We're just going to find a way to activate the serial based EOLRS receiver. So sometimes you can plug in a USB-C cable or USB cable to a flight controller and your radio receiver is going to be powered on as long as you solder it to the correct ports. But this time I cannot reach the, I won't be able to reach the USB plug without removing the top. So for this particular serial based receiver, I have to plug in a LiPo. Okay. So we're going to wait about 30 seconds for the LiPo to enter Wi-Fi mode. Okay, so once you see that there's a little blinking with their express wireless receiver, when it's blinking like really, really fast, that means that it's in Wi-Fi mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch our view to the computer. Okay, you're going to go to your Wi-Fi and you're going to see that the express wireless RX is popping out. What you have to do, hit connect. If you have to be asked for any password, the password is going to be express wireless or lowercase. We're just going to wait for it to take, it's going to take a while for it to like read and just do this and that. And it will say that I cannot connect generally because like sometimes you have to hit this button, but if it works correctly, a separate web page like this should be popping out. Okay. So we can see that basically this is where you can set up your binding phrase. So what we're going to have to do is you just have to manually type in your binding phrase right here and you're going to hit save and reboot. And basically that's it. So very, very simple. All right. Okay. So we're back to the bench. So this is basically how simple it is to set up a binding phrase for SPI based ULRS receiver and a serial based ULRS receiver. And if you wanted to know how to set up your radio, the link is also going to be down below. All right. I hope this is short and sweet. And if you have additional questions, please feel free to leave it at the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.